Right, so we're back at the test strip on another windy day. We've got a stack of wheels in here. And uh, yeah, we're gonna get the sensors going and do a bit more testing. This is the one kilometre straight, dead straight, dead flat, no elevation each way. Well, there's about half a metre from here to the end and it's 1K. So uh, yeah, we'll see how it gets on. We've got another 90 degree or like straight crosswind, true wind angle. And uh, I'm not wearing hiking jacket and trousers like the other, I was the other night because it was so cold and wet. Um, and it probably makes the CDA solution quite difficult to converge because it's constantly changing when they're wearing really baggy clothing. So I'm in the Lycra today, braving the cold, just got the arm warmers on and uh, got the sensor ready to go, the app ready to go, let's see how we go. A quick update, I've just done a couple of runs on the Gen 2 Hypers, did a couple of runs just to check the CDA is consistent, it was remarkably consistent even given the, uh, the blustery conditions. Now I'm testing the, the deepest kind of disc, disc brake wheels that I've got which is the uh, Ascent Polaris 69mm. I've just changed the rotors over, now I'm going to change the tyres to make sure everything's consistent. So same tyres, same rotors, same position and I'll do a couple of tests on those and see how we get on and this is the basis of what I'm doing with all the wheels basically. Yeah, more building. Welcome back sports fans. Now having gone to the faff of putting the other tyres on for the test, I've actually, so I've done two tests on the, on the same control tyre and now I've put on this 25mm giant tubeless tyre to see if this affects it, so this is these rims are apparently are optimised for 28s or 30s. They're really wide, the 30 mil external, and this is a 25 mil tyre. And you can see there's quite a lip there. So I'm going to do a couple of goes on this and see if that makes any reliable difference to the CDA. Like I think that should be pretty bad. But Cannondale came out with some knot wheels when they first released the System Six, and they were saying that was a good thing, like having that rib there, that ridge helps trip the air and no causes of vortices and keep, helps to keep them attached or something, but I just think that's bad. I think it's just in the wrong place, it doesn't look good, so we'll do a couple of tests on that. Uh, it's quite hard to stay really focused on the position when you're doing these tests back to back. I find that if you're in an aero on the hood's position, the triceps start to get a little bit tired and your elbows can start to sort of bow out, so you have to keep really still, head, keep your head still, no looking behind. Thankfully on my test strip, there's uh, absolutely nothing coming most of the time so pretty easy to do that but yeah you just have to be so vigilant that everything's kept the same on the bike the water bottle's still in there clothing hasn't changed you know I haven't even taken the sunglasses off everything's got to be the same so let's test these skinny tires out um, and see if that makes a, a good or bad effect <laughs> 